Welcome to Richard Maybe Presents. Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. It's Thursday morning, March 9th, 2023. Um, it's not a time. It's like in Ecclesiastes in that Roger McGuinn bird song, A Season of Time. There is a season, turn, 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 and unto every season, unto heaven. Um, <laughs> it's not a time right now, for whatever reason, uh, my sister and I normally get in the car and buzz around uh, Central Florida and capture like little little points of interest and uh, travel on the roads less traveled and all that kind of thing. But this is a more uh, time of, um, of being home, of um, reflecting, of asking the question, uh, where have I been? And where am I going? And in terms of where am I going, how am I going to get there? And one of the things I have been thinking a lot about yesterday, and it's a funny subject. And um, if you are of a certain age, you'll get it right away. <laughs> and that's the subject of tree forts. Now, uh, my sister and I travel in the villages and do videos in the villages and also the outlying towns, Wildwood, Fruitland Park, Oxford, um, Weirsdale, Lake Weirsdale, um, Summerfield, Bellevue, Ocala, and then uh, Leesburg, and even going as far as Pedro, capture little well, little landmarks that are often overlooked and, you know, for posterity uh, and bringing them to, uh, to light in video form. And then people outside of Florida, you know, get to groove on it. <laughs> but in all of these, I don't necessarily like the, the word or the term back roads. I like the term less traveled roads but in all these small towns and these less traveled roads you know there's these quaint and charming older homes with and inevitably they'll have at least one uh old live oak tree in the either in the front yard side yard or backyard and as you travel by you can see a little 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 bit of the backyard but very, very, very seldom do I ever see a tree fort anymore. Now, when I was growing up in Lincoln Park, I was born in 1953. So I was 10 years old in 1963. So um, one of the, one of the, 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 um, the uh, high points of being a kid in the early 60s was building a tree fort. And uh, my buddy Stuart and I, you know, we, 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 we built these elaborate tree forts. And um, uh, Stu, Stu had uh, a unique situation. He lived on uh, what became a Christmas tree farm. And it was, uh, I think it was 23 acres or 24 acres uh, on a mountaintop in Lincoln Park. It was, it was the highest point the highest elevation point in Lincoln Park. That's where his house stood. So um, they were surrounded by woods and beautiful pine trees. Uh, his dad had um, some kind of a thing where he, he sold Christmas trees or something, something like that. But uh, Stu had a, had a great uh, kind of a log cabin tree fort. Um, it was made of, young saplings 
Then it was a it had it had a wall about uh the wall was about two feet high. And the um of course when you're a kid it seems much higher, but I'm but I would say the the tree fort was between four trees, built between four trees, and it was about I want to say 10 feet high into the air. And then um, the my tree fort, Stu helped me build. My dad, Stuart, and I built the tree fort of these big, thick plankings. Um, I mean, not two by fours, but these really thick plankings. And they were about four inches wide. So this was a, a, an, an incredibly tall lumbering, um, really grand, old granddaddy of a, of a maple tree in the backyard. We built a three tier tree fort <laughs> and the third tier, the old, the old maybe homestead was an old farmhouse. So including the attic, it was three stories high. And the third tier was just slightly above the the, the level of uh, the level of the attic. <laughs> so it was really high up. Um, and we seldom climbed up to the third tier. It got a little shaky because the limbs were not, the limbs from the tree were not as strong as the limbs in the first and second tiers. And most of the time we, 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 um, we stayed on the first tier. Now, we had a table. This is how elaborate the street fort was. We put, we had a table, like uh, maybe the size of a card table, on on the first tier, and had this. And I've got pictures. I have to find them. And when I find them, I'll, I'll put them up on my on my YouTube channel. But um, it was it was a very elaborate tree fort, um, and uh, we had this system of um of um pulleys where you have you have the bucket down below and you 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 can you can it went over a higher branch with this pulley system and you could like you could put things in the bucket stuff in the bucket and bring it up you know you, uh, pull, pull it up into the first tier then um the the on the the one limb was a very strong limb it was it was as thick as most trees are and it that had a tire swing hanging from it and uh we had a little box we used to keep uh comic books in the box we made a wooden box on the first tier kept comic books in there um and man magazines but um it's kind of sad that um it, it, it kind of breaks my heart. Kids don't build tree forts anymore. And I've been going through, uh, <laughs> I have two laptops. And the reason I have two laptops is because the older one is hanging on by a thread. But actually my newer one's hanging on by a thread. I use it so much for, for video uh, editing. But um, I'm going to try, I have to find uh the pictures of Stuart's old tree fort and my old tree fort and 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 show them to to all of you in a in a in um a future YouTube episode not too far down the road. Um it, it tree forts are magical things. Um and I really feel sorry for kids today. Um, they don't have that, you know. I mean, you're up on the, you're up on in the midst of this tree. Squirrels are scurrying about. Um, the birds, you know, like, you know, you have your your planking, and then just uh, a couple feet, there's this little nook between the the tree, the main trunk of the tree and a branch and there's a bird's nest there. And I, 
it really breaks my heart that kids don't build tree forts anymore. I, you know, um, it was just a magical thing. I can't even, you know, when you, you know, you climb high up, I remember climbing high up to the third tier and there were um, acres and acres of woods behind my house that my grandparents owned. And, um, you know, you could just see for what seemed like miles and miles. Probably was about a mile. Or, that was pretty far because I was kind of um, uh, just in the midst of Hook Mountain in Lincoln Park and um, kind of in a valley. Um, my neighbor across the street, George, he was uh, a top more, more, uh, his, his house was kind of etched into, um, you know, one of the hills of Hook Mountain. So we're kind of, I, and I was kind of, I kind of in a valley, but then the, the earth, the ground sloped. And, uh, so we're kind of in a valley surrounded by Hook Mountain. And, um, it was just a, a wonderful, charming, imaginative time you know, of spending, spending hours during the summer in the tree fort reading comic books um, and mad magazines. Just a wonderful time, you know. We um, it just kind of makes me sad, that's all. That kids today don't build tree forts. I remember in Lincoln Park, you would you, you buzz around Lincoln Park in the early 60s and it seems like every every house in the backyard there was a tree fort you know my buddy george had a tree fort in his backyard uh down the street my buddy paul he had a tree fort in his backyard and uh a lot of the a lot of the a lot of the chaps i knew in scouts they all had tree forts in the backyard and it was almost un-american <laughs> It was, you know, to be a kid and not have a tree for it was almost un-American in the early 60s. Everything changes, and I understand that, and there's progress. But I do feel sorry for kids today that the major it seems like the majority of 10-year-old of boys today are going through their boyhood without without a tree for it i can't imagine it you know so that's that's <laughs> I know it's kind of a simple thing it's not profound it's not earth shattering news it's not uh cutting edge but it's a significant a significant thing of modern life kids don't build tree forts anymore and it and it breaks my heart uh, another note, uh, my sister kind of a, had a rough day yesterday and, um, it's a painful process. Um, you know, the medical people, I think they're well-meaning and I think there's so many people, they just don't have the time, but it would be really a good thing. Like if they had, um, like maybe like print out like um, eight and a half by 11 little booklet, maybe about 10 pages before you get the surgery. <laughs> Not after you get the surgery, before you get the surgery of what to expect, you know, really honest, honest um, perspective of, of here's, here's what you expect, you know, <laughs> it's painful. And she's in a lot of pain and she's been a trooper through it all, but it's tough. Um, you know, it, it's a tough, it's tough. Um, the, the getting the large intestine reconnected, the surgeon compared it to uh, heart surgery, you know, where they take uh, like a vein out of your leg and put it you know, use it for a coronary artery or something like that. You know, they put it, it's, it's, it's equivalent in terms of what it takes to recover 
um, reconnecting a large intestine, the surgeon said, is the recuperative um, time and, 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 and healing process is equivalent to heart surgery. It's, it's serious, 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 serious surgery. So um, I'm going to close. So um, stay healthy, stay happy. And, um, and anyone out there, if you're a 10-year-old boy or if you have a son who's a 10-year-old boy or you have a grandson that's a 10-year-old boy, you know, build a tree fort. <laughs> build a tree fort, you know, build a tree fort. It'll be one of the most magical experiences of 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 that boy's boyhood. So um, I'm going to close. Uh, stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay cheerful. <laughs> this is Richard Maybe signing off.